What's up, everybody? It is Coach Adam here from Decentralized Strength and Conditioning. I am a certified strength and conditioning specialist, and I help everybody to maximize on their physique, their fitness levels, and athleticism, no matter where you currently are in your lifespan. And we do this by making workout and demo commentaries on the simplest, the safest, and the most effective ways to reach our goals. And today we're going to be talking about how we can use the hands elevated push ups to safely and effectively be able to eventually be able to do a push up all the way down on the ground. In this version, I call this the hands elevated push up on a barbell. So, what we have here is a rack. So, most gyms have these here. This is a sore neck rack, and on this rack, you can see all these little holes here. So, these are where the um, what do you want to call these? The hooks for the rig go on so we can put the barbell on top of those. And I typically set this at about the height to be about 15. And I find that that is uh, 15 to 17 on the rack, on the sore next rack. I'm sure if you have like a perform better or rogue, there might be different numbers. But you want to make sure that you uh, track the height that you have the bar at to start so that way you know where uh, that that way you can actually over time lower the height of the barbell and be able to do a push-up all the way down on the ground and the reason why this version of the push-up is a little bit easier than uh, doing this with the bar a little bit lower is because we have less of our body weight on our upper body here so it's a little bit easier to perform the push-up with good form. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what good form is here on the push-up. So when we are starting the push-up, we want to make sure that we are holding a good plank position. So if you need to, what I often do is I'll put a pad between the legs to squeeze so that way it turns on the hips and the core muscles so we can keep our spine in a neutral position so what we don't want to see is a huge uh, overextension here in the push-up so when i say overextension we don't want to see a big curve in the back we don't want to see that chest flare out too much we want to keep our back in a nice neutral position and then when we lower ourselves down, we're going to lower ourselves down nice and slow to the bar. And we can see here at the bar, we're bringing the bar right below the chest level, right to your sternum here below the chest. And we have our elbows at this 45 degree angle. Okay. And then in terms of where we have our hands on the barbell, so on barbells, we'll have like that smooth part in the middle. And then there's like this rough part on the uh, ends of the barbell called the gnarling, the gnarled part. And what you can do is take your thumbs and put it right on the edge of the smooth part in the gnarled part. And that thumbs width distance will be a good spot for you to, let me see if I can move here, because we want our elbow and our wrist here in line when we do the push up. So we can see here we have a pretty good straight line with the elbows and the wrist there. Then we still want to make sure that we are keeping a good plank position here so she could actually have her hips up just a little bit so that's often why I'll have somebody squeeze in uh, a foam roller or a pad between the thighs to really turn on the core more and we can get a lot more bane for our buck on this exercise and make sure that we're performing it correctly so in the next video here I took you know a week or two after we did this first workout and what we did is moved the barbell down a little bit. So this is how we actually progressed the workout. So before we had it up here, and now I moved it down a few holes, and then over time, the goal would be eventually to move this down almost to the ground. And then from there, we can uh, perform some real push-ups. Another big key here is we want to focus on lowering ourselves down to the bar nice and slowly. So think three seconds on the way down to the bar. And then 
one more thing we want to focus on here is uh, making sure that our hips stay down here. So you can see our hips are a little bit up and that's the hips are the first thing to really move up. So what we want to really do here is make sure that we're squeezing the butt here. Okay, so that's also why I don't know why I didn't have her squeeze a pad in the videos, but typically I have her squeeze a pad and this will really bring the hips down and hold that good plank position or that uh, hollow, kind of that hollow hold position if you're a gymnastics person. So we want the whole body to move at the same pace. We can see here, she's doing a lot better on this one. So the body's moving at the same pace, the hips aren't coming down uh, before our chest and the hips aren't moving up before the chest. So she's doing a much better job on this uh, push up here. So that is how we can actually progress, or this is how we can progress the push-up down to the ground using a barbell and a rack at the gym. We just wanna start at a higher position and try to perform, I don't know why I didn't mention this earlier, but we are trying to perform about eight reps to start. If you're brand new to doing the push-up, we wanna do eight reps at this position and then we can move down and try to master eight reps at a lower position and then move the bar down, master eight reps at a lower position. And then we could repeat that whole thing again for 10 reps, for 12 reps, for 15 reps and up to 20 reps to really build a strong uh, foundation between the brain, communication between the chest muscles and to uh, build the overall size of the chest muscles over time. So once we can build up to eight reps at a lower position, we're gonna have to hire the bar up again to work ourselves up to a higher rep range. And that's how we can uh, build more muscle and uh, improve our push-ups. Now, of course, the other aspect would be making sure that, you know, if we are overweight, we're gonna have issues with uh, core control as we get lowered to the ground. So as we lose weight and we can improve our core, we'll be able to perform the push-up with really good form, even closer down to the ground. So that's just something we need to keep in mind if we're a little bit uh, on the heavier side. All right, so until next time, I hope this was helpful and a little bit entertaining. Uh, but until next time, stay safe and keep grinding.